guys! I made a large floor metallic flower vase. This vase turned out so pretty and I used most items that you can find in the home. I'm super excited to share with you guys how I made this. Now let's go ahead and get started. I got a large bowl from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be taking out the middle part that's at the back using a soldering iron. When you're doing this, please be very careful and if you're not comfortable doing this, please ask for help. When I was done, I kept that aside and then I laid my hand on a fruit basket that I got from Walmart. This is what it looks like. And now I'm going to be adding the bowl to the top using an E6000 glue. A full list of all the items used for this project will be in the description box below. I was so glad that the bowl fits with the fruit basket because that way it flows together. When I was done, I left it overnight to dry. This is an old protein shake container that I have that I'm going to be using because the top fits perfectly with the shape that I cut out. I'm going to be gluing on the protein shake container together with the other containers. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This procedure can be done all together at the same time, so it can dry at the same time. The next day I spray painted it silver and the bottom looks kind of small. So I took a waste bin to see if it's going to fit and it looks better considering the size and the weight of the fruit basket. So I glued it on and I spray painted it silver and kept it aside. I used pieces that I cut out from a Dollar Tree tray that I used for an old project and I will leave the link for that project in the description box below. I'm going to be using these pieces, like I said, there were leftovers from a previous project. And I'm using this to cover up the connection between both containers. You can definitely use something else to cover up this area here, but then I decided to just go with the tray. This is the pattern that I'm going to be making around the connecting area and this is what it looks like. You can stop right here but then I just decided to bling it out more. So I took a compass and then I'm going to be drawing a circle, not a full circle, I just need something to guide me to make sure that I have accurate straight curves because I want to make a design on the vase. This is how I'm going to be laying out the paper to draw out the curves. This is the pattern that's coming out and you can use whichever pattern that you like. You just got to be creative at this point. So I took it to the back and just turned the paper over. As you can see, both curves are together, but it's not forming a circle. Well, in my defense, I should have just cut out a shape that would look like this, then turning the paper over, but then it's fine. As you can see, the shape at the top and at the bottom are different. Now I took Mod Podge and glitter. I'm going to be mixing them together and I'm going to be making a thick consistency just to make sure that I have enough glitter where I want it. I did this all around the pattern that I made and this is what it looks like. I don't have a lot of glitter going on and that's what I wanted but you can definitely have a second coat if you like. Now I took a bling wrap and I cut a singular strip. I'm going to be using it to cover up the lines. I glued it on and this is what it looks like. I took some mirrors and I decorated this upper part with it. I took very little gems and I randomly glued them around the parts that have the glitter. I got more gems from Walmart and it's self-adhesive and I'm going to be covering up the thinner lines that we have that's on the fruit basket. And now I'm going to be covering up the wider strips or the wider lines with larger gems that I got from Walmart. 
This is also self-adhesive and is easy to apply. I blinked up the vase because apart from just using it for a flower vase, I'm going to be using it as a decorative item also. I also glued blinks at the upper part that you can see here. And this is what it looks like. I am so happy with the way this turned out because I not only have a glam flower vase, I also have a glam decorative item that I can place anywhere in the home. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about using kitchen items to make a vase. And remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.